Hello, and welcome to Kits Photography for this time. In this week's episode, I'm talking about remote shutter releases. Now, to find out more, you'll have to stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to Kits Photography. I'm Kit from Bremac Photography here in sunny South Australia. Welcome to my channel. Hello and welcome to the show. As I said in the introduction, this week I'm talking about remote shutter releases. Now these things are fantastic devices that every single photographer should have. They are so useful, not just for keeping a camera steady, but for other things as well. You can get all sorts of different shutter releases, or bulbs as I like to call them. Now a bulb is actually a literal bulb. It's a squeezy bulb thing. And when you squeeze it, you push air through it, which pushes the trigger, which then makes the shutter release. These can be very long, so they're really good for self-portraiture, but also they're really good for when you're wanting to take things like astrophotography or a long shutter release, so that you're getting a, a long exposure using, let's say, an ND filter, for instance. That's when they become really, really useful. So I've got one here, which is, this is a really modern alternative. This is a full digital one. So this one here, you can actually change absolutely everything that you're doing from the number of seconds that you're using to well, all sorts of things. You don't actually have to hold the button down. So for instance, I can say, I want to take one photograph every five seconds and it goes click, click, click every five seconds, which is extremely useful. Uh, you can just leave it on and hold it on and it will just lock into place. And you can set all kinds of things with this, which is, it is very, very, very useful. The most important thing is though, is you can take a long exposure without touching the camera. And keeping in mind, if, if you're shaking a camera around, taking a 25 second photograph, you're going to see lots and lots of blurring, which you really, really don't want. My go-to for shutter releases is this one just here. Now I've had this for years and years and years, and it's made by Yongnu Digital. It's very simple. All you can do with this one is push the button, take a photograph, or keep it shut down. That's all you can do. It's all manual, essentially. Now, the other thing that you need, it's so important, is one of these. Now, this is a shutter release. It's a remote shutter release. Us old photographers call it a bulb. And what this does, I push it, and it takes a photograph. Now, um, you can actually lock that in like that or you can just push it once. Now the point of that is I'm not actually touching the camera, so therefore you haven't got anything wobbling it around to cause any problems. They're, they are just as good as a digital one because generally you're not going to walk away and just let it keep taking photographs. So these ones here are really, really good. They're not expensive. Even the big digital one, they are roughly $20, $30, absolute max really. This one here was an El Cheapo I bought years and years and years ago, and I've literally had this for 10 years. I've used it on multiple cameras. This, these are designed for Nikon. They have the Nikon connection on them here. And they are really, really, really good. And I would advise everybody to go and get themselves a remote shutter release. Millimeters, so I can zoom right in to the subject of the moon. Now, one of the most important things with all this as well, like taking the Milky Way, is having one of these, a remote shutter release. Now the reason why I say this is because you don't want the camera to move. Well this has been Kit's Photography for this time. I hope you enjoyed this very, very short episode on shutter release. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. <laughs>